ever wondered if, say, a Kenyan or a Rwandese do not view themselves as citizens of their own country, but as East Africans? It's that sense of ownership and belonging which brings us to the focus of this week's episode on East African Voices, where we look at your participation into the integration process. Welcome again to East African Voices. I'm your host, Laban Cliff Ontario. How do we change the mindset of citizens to view themselves as East Africans as opposed to citizens of their own country? It's cultivating this sense of ownership that has got champions of integration thinking hard on just what might be the best way for citizens of these countries to view themselves as one. However, before looking at how citizens can participate in full integration, what are the awareness levels of East Africans? We have just carried out a survey of, of, uh, of the ESC brand in East Africa. We've just completed it. And the survey interestingly shows us that uh, more people know about East Africa than we thought. It's been pleasantly surprising to us. But we're not where we need to be. Uh, I think it shows us that over 60% or so understand East Africa in some way but we need to have the people of East Africa fully involved. Now, we've made a lot of headway with the business community, uh, except for the informal sector, who are, but who are also on board through the Juakali. The students, by and large, we've made some good headway, but for the average East African, not yet. We're not, not yet there. So we need to work with local governments, with national parliaments, even members of parliament, some of them do not fully understand what this project is all about, so we need to work with them. The regional parliaments, the women groups, the youth, uh, that's a big agenda. The collapse of the first ESC in the year 1977 revealed the lack of investment in structures to ensure proper citizen participation. People do not understand the factors which impair you to to integration in a region and these should be followed strictly if you want to benefit from integration of region grouping. This is a fact that the current secretariat wouldn't wish to see repeated. Well I would like to see a community that's politically united uh, first of all where people see themselves as East Africans of Kenyan origin, of Tanzanian origin, of Ugandan origin, of Rwandese origin, of Burundi origin, but East Africans first. Levels of awareness vary across the five member states. Let us first have a look at a per country focus on the integration agenda. Rwanda's economic growth rate over the past two decades has been impressive and it has become a beacon for many countries for its organization and variety in its economy. It became obvious to us that, first of all, what was within our sphere of action, it was very clear that there were a number of things that we could move forward as Rwanda. The country joined the ESC in 1999 and many of its citizens are enthusiastic about the community. Rwanda, it is still developing. To, to, to get uh, power like to countries which are involved like Kenya and Uganda. So it was a system which was brought in to make our country or other countries which are developing to see that their business is also grown without some any disturbances. Uganda's membership of the original East African community may be one of the reasons why awareness levels are high in that country. Uganda being a, a landlocked country, uh, there's a lot of uh, opportunity for Ugandans uh, when it comes to transaction like in terms of business uh, since uh, Kenya is having a kind of a portland uh, and most of the, 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 the export and imports are uh, passed through Kenya so Ugandan has got uh, a great opportunity to use that it outsidea sisi tuungane tuwe tunaungana tuwe kitu moja yani it outsidea Tunaweza kusherekea, tuwe tunaweza kufanya biashara pamoja, tuwe tunapita ngambo ya boda tukiwa hatuna matatizo. 
The fact that Kenya hosts some of the region's shared infrastructure also places the country at the focal point in the move towards a common market. Its people are doing business all over the country, giving them a vantage point from which to appreciate it. The participation of the East African community uh, citizens, it is in terms of involving them. The awareness creation to, to make them uh, be aware that they are part of this bigger community and that they are welcomed in Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi. They are looked at in terms of these are our brothers. It would be an, a greater part of impact uh, to Kenyans or rather Tanzanians and Ugandans since it will boost the economic part of it, like um, something like trade and social interactions. East Africa has come a long way up to now. Although they have built a common market in the beginning, but finally they have seen the light that they should take a further step in economic unity and become a, a unitary factor in the economy of Kenya. And that's really something, a step forward and an emancipation for the economy of East Africa. Previously, the governments of Tanzania and that of Burundi were seen to be on the periphery when it came to matters to do with integration. But what if citizens of these countries view themselves as not only nationals of their own countries, but as East Africans? Think about that. Though not economic vibrant as the rest of the member states, Burundi epitomizes a country slowly rising to be an economic powerhouse. So what is the awareness level of Burundians? Mambo East Africa na elewa kidogo unasikia na niona ni nzuri kwa sababu kama tuna na elewana tunashurukiana kwa mingine zile zimekutanana. Nzuri sana juu mimi ndezenda kule Kenya natumika unafika hapa Burundi unatumika na mwingine anaenda Tanzania anatumika. Ina usiliano ni nzuri sana. Siku siku mbele Mrundi, Mtanzania, Mkenya, Mganda, watakuwa natumikisha. Hapana tena, kitambulisho passport. Watakuwa natumikisha kitambulisho kama kwa kuingia mizo nchi zote. Bila kupita, kumba kitambulisho fulani, kitambulisho fulani. Kende, tunawasema sisi kitambulisho cha kawaida. The positive outlook of its people is also shared by the government officials. So we believe that... Uh, uh, it will be bring this sense that we, we belong to the same community. Uh, so a citizen in, uh, in Karusi, Burundi, or a citizen in Mwanza, uh, in Tanzania, or uh, uh, a citizen in Nakawe, in Uganda, uh, or uh, somewhere in Eldoret, uh, or uh, Kigali, uh, would feel that he belongs to that one. Tanzania's leaders say that the perceived slow speed of integration should not worry anyone. There was a time it was even a crime to have $10 in your pocket in Tanzania, while in Kenya it was legal. So these are some of the aspects you need to understand. Tanzania needs a lot of help in terms of uh, we have a lot of land issues. Our, our land um, uh, laws are still you know, quite uh, draconian. We have suggested that the issue of land will remain a responsibility of the constituent states. And, uh, but try to harmonize, survey land, harmonize the laws and so on, but it remains under the control of the constituent state. And that way, the issue of invasion uh, will be done away with. Tanzania is a very unique in this region because we have a union, a Tan Tanganyika and Zanzibar which none of our other countries have experienced. So we know how to marry, how to merge together. So we know, you know, there are little details that are, are, are very important. You can rush, but if you rush, then you find those details haunting you in future. And this is what we, we, we're saying. Look, there's details. And, and uh, for, for, e, for EAC to work, Believe me, you take an example of what we have as Tanganyika and Zanzibar. The country boasts of a population of over 48 million people and is also the largest in East Africa by landmass. Zamani nilikuwa na ifahamu, japo nilikuwa baado umri, lakini nilikuwa na ifahamu, nilikuwa ni East Africa nzuri, tukua, na zani tukua tunashirikia na vizuri tu. Na 
tulikuwa hatuna wasiwasi kwa nchi zote tatu nadhani tulikuwa tuko sawa nakumbuka nikiwa mdogo coin tulikuwa tuna zinachanganyika yani tunaweza tukatumia pesa moja, pesa ya Kenya ya Tanzania tulikuwa hamna tatizo paka ilipovunjika tena na sababu zilizosababisha zivunje siku zifahamu nitanisaidia maybe kwa hizi biashara it's like naweza nikaenda abroad kama naweza nikaingia Kenya au Uganda freely East Africa nimeshaisikia lakini na si si sijanufaika naye kwa sababu sijawahi kutoka nchi ya hapa lakini ningeielewa ningefanya kutembea kwenye nchi za watu wengine niangalie na kwenye kuna kuwa vipi Tanzania however boasts the one element that may place it as a first among equals as it hosts the headquarters of the East African community in the northern city of Arusha That's it for the first half on a look at your participation into the East African community's integration process we're now taking a break but stay with East African voices we have a lot more lined up for you Welcome back. Still staying with citizen participation in East Africa. We now want to probe East Africans further and ask them how can they participate in the full integration of the region. We begin with the views of Burundians right here in the capital city of Burundi in Bujumbura. Kila tatizo tutakuwa tumeona sisi ni nchi yetu sisi ya Burundi kiuchumi iko nyuma hizo nchi zingine zingine. Sasa tunakuwa na mashakani sasa. Sasa sisi tukikuwa tuna uchumi wetu uko chini. Nchi zingine zishakuwa na maendeleo kama Kenya zishakuwa na maendeleo kusidia, Uganda na maendeleo, Rwanda zishakuwa na maendeleo. Tanzania usisemi, nchi yetu bunifu ngali nyuma. Sasa tuko tunaofia. Nchi yetu sasa itakuwa aje, haitaingia chini ama itainuka na hiyo. This implies a level of positive competition among citizens or at the very least learning fast from each other. Mambo ya business. Wako sawa wamesinzia Warundi kuliko wa Nyarwanda. Ukiangalia hapa mjini, hivi waganda wako huko Burundi na wa Nyarwanda wanakuja juu sana kuliko wa Burundi wenyewe kwa hapa wanasinzia. When East Africans move freely between each other's countries, they learn from each other and teach each other. Ningependa kuwe mkazo kabisa ya kuendelea juu, isaidie watu tubadilishe akili ngamo na ngamo na tuweze kuelewana vizuri sana. Kibiashara, kindugu, kibusiness, vitu vya vile. Even as business opportunities present themselves with the growth of integration, the Secretariat admits to the slowness in the adoption of a policy on the free movement of services. Movement of uh, services, uh, this has not really uh, gone as was expected. The protocol, we have come to realize that the protocol had uh, some uh, side problems in terms that uh, trade in services was linked to movement of persons. And you know, movement of persons, basically that is the focus of the migration. You require uh, visas, you require so many things for somebody to move. Implementing a, a project funded by the World Bank, and uh, under that we have been able to have the council make some directives as provided for in the protocol, uh, with a view to supporting that. The great challenge is on how to come with one monetary value so that all the people of East Africa can use one currency. At the moment, the Kenyan currency seems to, 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 to have an upper hand as compared to other East African countries. And that's why most of the traders from other countries, they fear us. The traders from other East African countries see Kenya to be a superb economy as compared to them. That's why they are slow in coming to the integration process. If Kenya is better placed to do business, why can't it come into Uganda and do business in Uganda? And the Ugandans will learn from the skills the Kenyans have and try and do business at the same time. We have in this country resources that remain untapped, right? And I've said this before, that our people must learn how to do business. They must wake up. 
If they don't, and we go integrating, those who can take advantage will, and I have no problem with that. So really, it's, it's, not, it's not an issue of the Kenyans coming to Uganda and being seen to be taking business and so on. No, 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 no. I think it is an advantage. The differences in literacy levels and the quality of education have got youth in the region prospecting for admission across borders. Kwa wanafunzi wa Nzango, uh, mashuri aliongea, alipatikana juu ya Afrika ya Mashariki. Uh, laha imepanda, vitu yote imepanda juu ya Afrika Mashariki. The different levels of education may lead sometimes to sensitivity about how quickly integration can take place. Wenzetu kwanza kwenye swala la kielimu, eh, muda mrefu sana ameshtuka. Eh, elimu wamesoma sana, wako juu. Sisi Tanzania kidogo kwenye mambo ya kielimu bado tuko chini. Hiyo ukweli lazima tunakubali. Though not all seem to agree on this. Vijana wanatakiwa wasome tu kwa bidii ili tu compete na wa Kenya tuwe sawa sawa. Sidhani kama wanaogopa kivile si sana. Wana wasiwasi tu lakini sio kwa ajili ya elimu. Mm. Wasiwasi tu kwamba labda wa Kenya wanatuzidi elimu lakini hii East Africa haina maana kwamba mkenya akiwa amesoma atakunyang'anya cha kwako. Hawezi. Utakunyang'anyaje na wewe ume pia unajua hiki ni changu. Yeye amekuja na elimu yake utampa kutokana na elimu yake. Lakini hawezi kukunyang'anya na elimu yako na akili yako. A regional education policy is in progress to ensure that institutions develop similar or near similar standards in teaching methodology. They should be able to access any form of education they want anywhere in the region. So we are encouraging our universities to charge the same rates of fees for students coming from within the region. So we don't, in the education sector, we don't consider students from the partner states as foreign if they come to study to uh, a, a university in one of the countries. Then comes the challenge of language. That is not, is not affecting so much because uh, currently uh, Ugandans uh, use English and uh, in Uganda also we have people who speak Swahili and then probably in Kenya the people who speak Swahili and then um, Tanzania people speak Swahili. At least uh, majority of people try as in coordinate with that. Kiswahili is the region's common language, but its adoption is at different speeds. English as well is not spoken uniformly across the region, but language levels are slowly converging. People are not used, you know, uh, uh, to uh, changing their, you know, their habits. Uh, but with that program, they have now started, you know, uh, uh, think differently, uh, particularly in uh, discussing, in negotiating, uh, we have been people from the private sector who, through the course, have been able to engage with the Australians. And, and, and this uh, program helped us uh, seeing English as a tool of integration. Part of the community's policy recommendation is also to have the use of a common language to be used across member states, one that has got leaders excited. I have said Karibu. I look forward to the day we will we'll speak some Kiswahili as East Africans. So what concerns do East Africans have towards having a borderless region? Rwanda, Sudan, Burundi. This is the Sumbua because I have been here for a long time. 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 Burundi and Rwanda are here for a long time. As Kenyan, so far what we are seeing in our borders, what's going on, if we now become like in one country, all of us, then it's easy for, you know, having criminals coming here. That said, this may be a thing of the past as plans are underway towards having a unified strategy for East African security. This has seen regional countries contribute a number of its forces to the common special force. Under the East African Police uh, Chiefs Corporation, we have already seen benefits where we are sharing information, knowledge, skills, and uh, getting to know uh, how issues, uh, policing is done in, in, uh, in the neighboring countries, and even how we are tackling modern crime and emerging 
and emerging crime is, is something that we do uh, in agreement with the other stakeholders. Insecurity is with poverty. So if we go out of poverty and help our people to develop and have their own commercial development, then of course insecurity will disappear. Despite the differences in education levels, differences in language, the people in East Africa remain a hopeful lot. It's a change in the mindset. Uh, we really need to think that we are all East Africans. It will give us strength, prosperity. You can't prosper at all. But if we prosper as a community, it will give us strength. And when we have that mindset, we will be fit for the political federation. And people would feel, oh, I am East Africa. That will be the best moment we can, you know. Those are some of the views representing the over 155 million people of East Africans, reinforcing the fact that a unified system will be the key to ensuring that this integration process is realized. That's all we had for you on this week's episode on East African Voices and the final one for 2014. But before we leave, here are some of the messages of a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all East Africans. Hey everyone, East African Kenyans. I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Comme cadeau que je vais vous laisser ici pour le projet de Est Community. Seulement, c'est je vous donne comme cadeau une nouvelle de Noël et de congrégation ici. Happy holidays and everybody enjoy yourself. Nabandi bo se ngaba ngu tusangiye ukwemera kwa Yesu Kristo umukiza wacu ivuka jya cyari sinzi cyacu ndabifurije Christmas nziza twese Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all East Africans East Africa mwese mbishimiye no heri nziza no bunane nzagira umwaka mwiza kandi imana izabarinde akaze I wish all the East, all the people of East Africa a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2015. May I take this opportunity on behalf of the people of Trukana to wish all the people of East Africa a Merry Christmas and Happy and pro Prosperous New Year 2015. Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for all the population and I hope that 19, uh, 2015 will bring peace to these countries. You can also share your wishes via our social media platforms as always on Facebook or on Twitter at Ear Voices or feel free to email us, our email address is on your screen. On behalf of the team that made this production possible from us right here in Nairobi and our teams across the region, we are glad you kept us company for the year 2015. For now, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. See you again in 2015 for more on doing business across East Africa. Goodbye. <laughs>